Namaste. This is the Prana Mudra, the Shanti Mudra. It's a beautiful practice, not just for the promotion of our health and wellness, but also it's a spiritual act of giving back. Prana means the vital force that gives us life. Shanti means peace. So it doesn't only um, serve us personally, yeah, but also we could you know, send out our intention to others. People who need healing and peace. Not necessarily people that we know. You know, when we send the intention out, this energy goes to places where it's needed the most. It's, I've given a full lecture yeah. about the principles behind the technique, so you may want to take a look at that. Yeah, but it's a good practice on its own, even without you learning that, just feel it. Yeah, we are all capable of feeling the breath. Alright, so sitting up tall. Right. Right. Just feeling that presence of the vital force that goes in and out of our bodies as we breathe. Inhale through the nose. And exhale. We're going to add a bit of breath retention, still gentle one. Now take a long, gentle breath in and allow it to rise all the way to the hollow of the throat, tops of the neck, fold the head lightly down and then clip the breath with three, two, one. Soften the throat and let the breath exhale all the way down to the base of our hands. And at the bottom of the exhalation, pause a light clip of your inner region. Three, two, one. And then relax the hips and allow your breath to rise up again. Ascending, inhalation up. Now send your breath really high up the neck region. Stay for three, two, one. Loosen the neck, exhale, release the breath. At the bottom of the exhalation, pause. A light clipping of at the hips. And then inhale, soften, and let the breath rise this time. Send your awareness higher up. And then feel the breath really go up to the sinuses. All the way up to the forehead, you might look inside using your in inner eyes, feel it rise, and retain it. Three, two, one. Loosen up, soften your eyes inside your eyelids, and let your breath exit all the way down to the halves. And then do that flip again at the bottom. Pause. Breathing in. This time, let the breath really open up the chest. Yeah. Feel it expand. Hold. Feel the right and the left hemispheres of the brain, the forehead region. Go bright inside, like this radiance. Retain. And slowly release, loosen. Now let your awareness. Go back down to the origin of the energy, which is down the hips. And then I pause. Right. And just let your breath come back. Right. All right. And open the eyes. So that's the preparation. All right. Now we're going to add some arm movements. All right. So we start with the hands together. You might lightly clip your thumbs together. And just allow your breath to go natural. Applying the technique of the breath pattern and the gentle retention at the top of the inhale, at the bottom of the exhalation. As we inhale now, let the hands rise to the belly, slowly up to the chest. 
up to the collarbones, and then keep breathing in as you open the arms wide, as high as the ears, soften the elbows, relax the fingers. And as you do the retention, lightly fold the chin, but send your awareness really high up the inner brain. If you look up there inside your closed eyelids, you might see a radiance, light. And after the retention, open up the throat and let your hands fall back down, close to your face. And then to the neck region, and the chest, where it comes from. Follow. And then relax the hands while you hold and pause the bottom of the exhalation lightly. Clap your inner region. And then to inhale, soften the hips and let your hands rise again. Feel it rise. Expand and then outward. And as you hold the retention, feel your hands. You might notice some electrical pulsation. It's the healing force coming from the inside. Now as you exhale, let that force exit the body. As your hands come back, to gather the force again from the base of the hips. But before we lift, collect that breath, collect the energy by lightly jumping it up through the pelvis and let it open in. Feel your body radiate, really expand, feel it rise. And then look at your hands, yeah. and then back to the center, you might lightly open up. You can actually hold this one a few breaths to yeah. further that rising, the opening. Normally I would hold it, but I will just breathe it. Yeah? Every time you rise, feel the body hang and suspend higher. And as you exhale, feel it soften. And to come back, light breath. Exhale, back in the folded position, slowing down, like you're stopping. The movement of the clock. When the mind intends to breathe slowly, the body follows. And at the bottom of it, light retention, light pause. We're going to do one more time, breathing and feel the presence. All right, this time we're going to hold it wide and exhale, let the energy exit your fingertips. And then send it out to places where it's needed, to people who need healing, whether physically, mentally, or spiritually. And slowly come back down. Yeah. You might lightly inspire, and as the hands fall, you exhale. Back to your hands together position and breathe again. You may hold stillness for a few more breaths. Blink our eyes open yeah, and come back. So there's no limit to practicing the prana mudra, the shanti mudra. Shanti means peace. Yeah, so it's a beautiful practice, not just for the promotion of our health and wellness, but yeah, for the welfare of all. Till the next time.
Namaste.